Hello everyone, this is T-Site ABCD and welcome to another Katan video here on my channel. So playing the base game for my Road to Top 10 series. In this game I am in the 4th position here. There is an average distribution of all resources but ore is a little lacking especially because the 8 tile is uh, quite out of reach here with 8, 3, 8, 10 both of them don't seem to be too strong of a placement here also most of the sheep has already been picked off here I mean I can get a decent setup with something like 6, 5, 11, uh, 6, 4, 2 get access to the wheat port and the ore port or do I want to go for 6, 5, 12 get, get at least some sheep I can point up and go towards 9, 12 I don't think so anybody is going for 9, 12 here and surely nobody wants to go for 511 as well so I can even point to the right but the problem is somebody will go for 6311 and immediately plow me I don't want to leave 6311 open here and when it comes to resources do I want to start with a road in hand or do I want to start with a couple of ores I like the idea of having two ores here in hand Because with two ores, like if a six and a five, if a couple of six fives roll, I can get a city quite easily. Yeah, let's go for that option here. And once I get a city, I think my ore port becomes all the more important. <laughs> If I get a little lucky with 4s rolling, maybe I can even get a settlement on 9-12. Orange can... I think Orange will consider something like 8-10 as a placement option. And can build on the other 810 to improve their uh, wood production for the wood port. Red here needs sheep and brick. So red can easily consider. Okay, I was thinking red would consider 6, 11, 12, but this makes sense as well. And gives access to the 3 to 1 port. Yeah, I did expect this. I mean, I expected 8.10. But uh, 8.3 is fine as well. And black here just goes for 9.4.11. Black's production isn't very strong, but does have double V, double ore as an option. <coughs> Okay. I I considered 9311 because you can get a settlement on 411 but now black is trying to get to 3-4 uh, and is racing with orange to get there So 
so uh, let's see if I get this trade I mean black should be interested black does have a break exactly so this is good for me because I don't produce any sheep having a sheep in hand is good uh, if I want to get a road settlement Yeah, red might be building towards the threes to one port. I mean, based on their production, the threes to one port is a little bit more valuable as compared to the five to weak port. Okay, it does build towards the weak port though. So. Uh, let's see if I get this trade I'll basically get a city if not I might just have to end my turn if somebody accepts this trade then I can accept the other trade okay black accepts it Here. so far no fours have rolled okay as I say a four does roll here but also no sevens have rolled the thing is if a seven rolls I think my six break or the five over will be targeted so let's see if I get this trade I'll basically get a road settlement You know, did I thought red accepted it but then immediately rejected it yeah here I'm saying that I don't produce any sheep Okay, black accepts it. And I would like to get a settlement on 912. But here I think getting to the 3 to 1 port is a little more important. Based on my production, I produce a decent amount of brick and uh, wheat here. For 5 or 11 roll, I might just go for another city on 624. Let's see. I can either block the 9 or the 4 I'll accept a trade here or any trade here if I get sheep or ore either of them are fine if not Okay, seems like black isn't going to accept any trade or is not going to counter.
I don't mind giving up a wheat either. Let's see. Okay. Of course, none of these trades are going through. Do I buy a dev card? Maybe. I know I am going to be targeted. So, okay, I get a road builder. Actually, that is not bad. Okay, black here does not have a knight. The reason why I'm saying um, road builder isn't bad is because now I can get a settlement on 810. Let's see, I can even offer a 2 is to 2. I know red doesn't produce any ore, so might be interested. Okay, it does a 1 is to 2. Here. Okay, I think I'll accept this. Maybe I even offer a two is to one here. Maybe a trade like this. Let's see, if not, I'll, okay, this is good. So now my ore production is very, very strong. I still don't have sheep production. I could have gone for the 912 sheep. Here, I can buy a dev card if this trade goes through. I don't think so. Orange will be trading with me. Maybe even offer a two is to one. So black has a monopoly, I would say. There's no other reason black would offer two ores here. There are very few ores in the deck. Hmm. Orange, I think is Going to, I mean, orange accepts it, okay, and then rejects it again. It okay, just does a four is to one, okay. So now I can get a second city. I think I can get a city on 810 just to improve my ore production. I would have accepted that trade, but and okay, so when it comes to road, I don't think so. I'll be holding it 
holding on to road if uh, because red can easily just connect okay let's see if uh, this trade goes through and basically just trying to get a settlement i mean this is a very very profitable trade for red yeah and i will do a 4 is to 1 to get a settlement and now red has 11 cards right and like any 7 will hurt red quite a bit and if no 7s roll i think red just got lucky wouldn't mind if orange rolls a 7 like i know orange is going to target me but both orange and red losing out on cards is quite good black plays a knight why didn't black play a knight until now hopefully steals a break okay targets red doesn't even target me Here seems like there aren't going to be any sevens. <clears throat> okay, so at the very least, I can buy a dev card. I mean, this surely seems to be a good trade, although it puts me over seven cards. But now if a six rolls, I can get a road settlement on the ore port. I mean, if I don't get any trades, I might just buy a, I do a three to one. I mean, red is going to have some trouble getting a city because red doesn't produce any ore. Their wheat isn't the best, but has eight cards already in hand, right? Like if a seven doesn't roll, I think red is going to have a good time. So, I mean, I surely need to start, uh, I surely need to start buying dev cards. Okay, so 5 or 11 will give me a city on 810. With the ore port, that seems to be quite a good option for me. I'll go for any one is to two. Let's see. Yeah. So, I mean, I can surely fight for road as well. For six rolls, I can just get another city. Let's see, black might play a monopoly on wood or ore. 
has four dev cards. I mean, red is already on eight. I am on seven. So black should be playing knights if they have it. Here, I wouldn't mind if red rolls a seven. Everyone will be losing out on a few cards. Yeah, but orange is surely having a difficult game now. Okay, so I have a city in hand. Yeah, so as expected, red is building more roads. But those are expensive roads, right? So I can buy a dev card here or I can just get a city. I mean, I don't have a lot of settlement spots, but I mean, fighting for army seems a little, it seems a little too late to be fighting for army. So let's just try to build to eight. And if I want to build to eight, just getting Cities make sense, like I can get another city and I would need another settlement. So based on that, do I want to build a road here? Yeah, I can build on 810 so that I have two options to build a road settlement. I think that is fine. Yeah, the lack of sevens, I mean, yeah, at least if it's a non block with orange, eight and six is not going to be targeted. Yeah, solo blocks red, more than happy with it. So gets a settlement, might be able to buy another dev card here. Okay, black could easily be on, black could win the game next round. Here, if I can build three roads, I mean, if a four rolls or a six rolls, I might just be able to take the longest road. Yeah, now that is not possible anymore. Yeah, I can get a road settlement or I can buy two dev cards and hopefully get two VPs. Like even if I get one VP, I have to buy two dev cards, right? Or actually my plan is to just get a city and a settlement, right? So let's build a road. 
orange should not be able to build two roads and a settlement here so based on that okay i'll just get my settlement here so now i'm very close to winning but now red is forced to get a city black is surely on 9 points So what are the rules that give me the win? There's no single rule, right? Okay, gets the VP and wins the game. Yeah, I'm not sure why orange traded there, but I mean, I can understand. We have lots of fives. Only one seven that entire game. Not a lot of sixes not a lot of nines either which is good i mean that would have made blacks win quite easy only one eleven bunch of tens yeah I'm not sure what what I could have done differently. Like five was helping both black and me. Tens were helping black. Black got a few easy trades with orange, but I think black could have just played their dev cards to get those wins anyway, or get those trades anyway. Yeah, it is what it is. So. Anyway, uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.